they're reporting. Today, some extraordinary acts by young people are being celebrated at the Rotary Young Citizens Awards in Manchester. There are seven winners, chosen from hundreds of people nominated across Great Britain and the Republic of Ireland. The awards are now in their 10th year, and winners from past decades have also travelled to Manchester for this year's celebration. Well, let's go live there, because our correspondent, Noel Phillips, is there for us. Noel. Uh, good morning, Maxine. You could see the emotions and excitement on their faces a short time ago when the awards were handed out. And for many of the young people here, it was quite surreal simply because of the incredible journeys that they've all been on. Uh, it's worth bearing in mind these are, these are young people who've had to overcome great challenges. And in doing so along the way, they've raised thousands for charity. They've uh, helped people with mental health problems, uh, homeless people on the street. And it's fair to say they have been recognised today, and rightly so. And I've got two of the winners, Harry McCann, he's 18, and Molly Comish, who's been recognised for helping homeless people on the streets of Ireland. Uh, let me start with you first, Harry. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, good. Um, not often you get a trophy. Uh, so, yeah, it's nice. It's, it's good to get recognition for your work. Um, although we don't do the work for the recognition, it's always nice. And, uh, yeah, it's special when it comes from people like Rotary. What's quite extraordinary about your story is that you're quite young yourself, so you're a teenager, you're 18, yeah. and uh, you're teaching young children how to use technology, and I understand you've taught up to 800 young people? Yeah, there's been a lot of kids over the last few years. Um, it's, it's amazing, it's, it's crazy when you walk into a room, I, nearly once a week now I'd be teaching kids, and when you walk in, and some of them are as young as six or seven, and you know, I'm not old enough even to be their parents, <laughs> so like, there's, not, there's no chance I can even be their parents. And to be teaching them is a crazy experience, but um, oh no, it's, it's incredibly rewarding and the kids get so much enjoyment out of it, and seeing the kids getting so much enjoyment out of it makes me very proud, so I'm delighted. And I think what's also extraordinary is that you study part-time as well as you're running your own business. I mean, how do you do that? Uh, very little sleep. <laughs> um, yeah, like it's late nights and early mornings. It's just a matter of doing emails before you go to school and then coming home and doing emails before you go to bed, calls, and then going to classes and coming back and transporting. And You could spend three or four hours going somewhere to spend an hour doing something and then are three or four hours back. So you just have to commit to it. But there's nothing more I get enjoyment out of than doing my work, so I'm delighted. Quite, quite incredible. Let's listen to you talking. You're only 18 and you're being so proactive. Uh, Molly, congratulations. Look at that. Thank you. Uh, I mean, you are somebody who is quite selfless. You give an awful lot and you've been walking on the streets of Ireland and just helping homeless people. Tell us. Yeah. What, what, what inspired you to do that? So I was walking around on the 24th of December 2015 and I just saw so many homeless people in Dublin and I, I didn't like what I was seeing so I decided that I needed to make a change so I thought the Dignity Packs would be the change. Tell me a bit more about the Dignity Packs because those are quite significant, are they? Yeah. What are they? So they're rucksacks full of hygiene products. So there's like everything we take for granted, like um, toilet rolls, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, just everything that I feel I would need to keep myself hygienic, really. And uh, you guys both share something in common. Apart from coming from Ireland, you <laughs> have both been advisors to the Irish government. Tell me a bit about you advising the Irish uh, government about technology. Yeah, I've had the pleasure of advising a few members of the government, uh, the Taoiseach, so the Irish Prime Minister, on things like education, data protection and technology, and then on uh, data protection minister, the education minister, um, finance at one stage, and yeah, every minister you can think of in every different department. But uh, yeah, it's, it's great to be able to make that change and be able to give that voice, especially for young people. And uh, Molly, the Irish Health Minister, you yes, met him just very quickly. What was that like? It was incredible. He was really like in awe of what was happening. So it was really nice to, yeah, to see. You. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And congratulations to you both. Thank and you. Uh, this is what it's all about, recognising young and talented people like Harry and Molly. I'll be back a little later on.